Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So again, back to our JavaScript uh, practice series. In this video, we are going to talk about a very small chapter. We are going to talk about what is type of operator in JavaScript. Remember one thing that, for example, let's see, let's create one file here. And we are going to talk about type of concept.js. So whenever we declare any variable in javascript for example let's see if i'm declaring one variable let x is equal to 30 so what is the type of x integer a string double boolean or what in java what we write in java c plus plus or other c uh, languages like c sharp or everything we used to write that okay fine integer i is equal to 10 here in javascript we don't need to declare what is a type of this particular variable Okay, so here in JavaScript, it will be decided at the runtime that what kind of value this X or this particular variable is holding. If it is numeric, the type of this X is numeric, will, which will be decided at the runtime. So JavaScript is actually, it will be decided at the runtime that what is the type of this particular variable. So Java is, JavaScript is not a compile time language. You can say JavaScript is a interpreted language which means that code is executed line by line without a separate compilation step there is no compilation over here everything will be decided at the runtime so when you declare a variable and assign a value it for example let's see if i'm creating another variable same variable let's see x is equal to this time i'm writing hello here so what is the type of x right now the type of x automatically will be decided that this is a string type of value same thing if I'm saying that, okay, no, now this X is equal to some object. Also, if I, if I can define this, yes, you can write some object here. Let's see name John here. So what is the type of X now? So again, it will be decided at the runtime. That is the type of X is object. So that's what, not like Java or C sharp or C plus plus that you have to explicitly tell that what is the type of this particular variable here. You don't need to worry about it. It's having its own advantages and disadvantages also slightly a confusing and then unnecessary redundant code that what is the type of x and then people might do some calculation or some other kind of mistakes also or logical mistakes also they can do it okay while doing some operation with the x because here we are not aware of that what is a type of x so they have introduced one simple operator if you really want to check what is the type of the exact variable you simple write let's see console dot a log here and then there is one operator that operator is called the type of operator and then you simply write type of, it's not a method and type of X, that's it. And it will tell you the type of X is what right now the type of X, let's see after first line, if I'm running it and let's quickly run it again, I simply come back here and then I'm running it, this one. And here you can see the type of X. Now, if I write this line after line number four, once again, the type of X will be what? Let's run it. The type of X is a string right now. And then again, I'm checking the type of X after this object declaration, it will give you object here like this. Okay. So type of operator is uh, simple. It will determine, it will check that what is the, the type of that specific variable that you are using it here. For example, let's see now if I'm creating a Boolean here, for example, let's create a new uh, variable. Let's see, let a flag is equal to something uh, true. And then I'm writing the type of console.log, the type of flag here. Just simple write it. The type of flag is what the type of flag is equal to Boolean. So let's see here. It's giving me Boolean here like this. Okay. And always remember data type of that particular variable will behave like a string. Okay. So if I really want to store, for example, if I really want to write once again, that uh, the type of what the type of flag. And if I really want to store it in some variable in that variable, for example, if I'm writing, let's see the type variable is equal to this. So this type variable will be behave like a string here. Okay. So it will be like this, that it will give you the type of this guy is actually Boolean there like that. Okay. Same thing for type is equal to object in double quotes. It will give it to you. So it will give you the type of the variable with the string. I mean, within the string. Then for example, let's see if I'm using again an array. So let's see, for example, I'm creating one array. So let's see one array, which is equal to here. I'm writing one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. And I really want to check that console dot log the type of this array variable. So array variable is also see this is also giving you the object. Okay. It's not giving you array, but it's array is also considered as an object over here. 
So it will give you object only here like this. So for example, if I'm writing, let's see, uh, some variable j is equal to null. So what is the type of a null in that case? So let's see this. The type of null is what type of null is also an object. Remember in JavaScript. So if I'm printing the type of a j in that case, and let's see, this is also giving me object over here like that. But let's see if I'm creating a variable and I'm not just creating a variable, but not declaring any or giving any assignment. It means I'm not assigning the value. For example, let's see if I'm just writing let X and that's it. Okay. I think uh, X we have already taken. So let's take something. Let's see let Y. And I really want to print the type of Y here. The type of Y is what the type of Y is undefined because we have not given any value. So JavaScript is not able to define that. So it will give you undefined here like this. Simple. Let's see if I have created a function. So let's quickly create a function now. Just like we have seen the previous examples also, I mean, previous chapters also, let's say I'm going to create a function and the function name is, let's see, a print function that I'm writing. And this print function says, okay, you give me the name of the employee. I will print it on the console. So let's see, my name is Naveen or my name is whatever that you are printing it. So this is, let's see, simple function that I have created. And I really want to know the type of this particular function. So let's see if I'm writing once again, that console.log and the type of what? the type of the function name that is print here and then you write it here then in that case the output will be what the output will be function it will give you this is a function type okay so let's see when you run this once again here you can see it is giving you a function type so whatever the type is there you can capture the type of any any variable either it is function or variable or the object or anything you can get it here right so this is also you can do Okay, so I hope uh, this is clear that what exactly how to get the type of this and uh, we will see a couple of other examples also in upcoming chapters with the help of type of. So that's a very small chapter. That's all for today. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.